Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your Who's Coming Towards You reading. Remember that this reading does not necessarily have any specific date on it. Whenever this message finds you, and whenever you find this message, then this reading will be for you at this given time. Before we jump right into your reading, I have a really quick and super exciting announcement to make, and that is to introduce today's video sponsor brought to you by Keen. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, Keen can provide specific answers you seek. Keen is one of the top leading networks of psychics, spiritual guides, astrologers, and advisors that can answer any of your personal life questions quickly and from anywhere in in the world. What I mostly love about Keen is their instantly available advisors who are online 24-7 worldwide. So basically, no matter what day or time, you will always find available sessions with super flexible pricing and you get to choose the specific amount of time you want to spend talking to the advisor of your choice. Also, what I love about Keen is their super easy sign-up process. You basically put your name, your birthday, answer a few questions, and you you'll automatically be matched with the best advisors based on your answers. Or you can choose to browse through all of the profiles of psychics, mediums, advisors, read through them and select your favorite one. My personal experience with Keen has been really great so far since I prefer advisors who are very detailed and very precise. So I suggest for you to browse through several advisors first before selecting the one that is best fit for for you. That way you can spend most of your time talking to the one that can answer all of your questions. So if you are interested in trying out one of the psychics or advisors from Keen, head down to my link trykeen.com slash Gina Moon to get your first 10 minutes for only a dollar and 99 cents. So definitely go check that out. Again, it's trykeen.com slash Gina Moon to get your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. And a huge, huge thank you to Keen for sponsoring today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and let's jump right into your reading. Scorpio, you are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. Wow, the page of wands. So some kind of message that is coming in your way, okay, or some kind of messenger. Someone here delivering some kind of message. There's also this kind of energy where somebody here is starting to consider you for something more. They want to explore more of you. They find a lot of passion, kind of like having, kind of like having connected with you, that sort of thing. Maybe this person is flirting with you, or maybe they are flirting with the idea of having you in their life in some kind of way. Now, let's go ahead and see what exactly is going on here for you. So I do see here, wow, the situation does call for some kind of manifestation that someone here is not aware of, okay? Now I'm also picking up, wow, look at that, the lovers here. So it could possibly be a Gemini for some of you guys. Does not have to be. Some kind of an ending also closing out of some kind of a chapter in this kind of situation. And I also see here coming towards you. There's going to be the Six of Swords energy coming towards you. So there's going to be some kind of energy here where it's going to move you into a different direction, whether you physically want to move, maybe a location, or maybe you want to travel, or maybe visit someone, you know, maybe somebody visit visiting you, whatever the case may be. Look at this at the bottom of the deck we have here, the Knight of Cups. So like I said, some kind of message coming in. I feel like for some of you guys, this is romantic related. This situation does call for some kind of love, you know, here, someone here is basically coming in to express some kind of emotion. Now, this also could represent some kind of, you know, creative energy also, or some kind of relationship. It, it's someone here taking action towards you. It's a mature energy moving forward towards you in some kind of way. Now, here, the Four of Cups is in your energy of the situation. So this situation is kind of like saying that there is going to be a wake-up call for you this week, okay? Because right now, someone is failing to recognize a magical opportunity that is right in front of them, okay? Whether this 
this is you or them. Somebody here is too. If they're kind of too distracted by all of these other cups that didn't work out for them. They're distracted by other things. Maybe they're purposely distracting themselves, but whatever the case may be, this is going to be a wake up call because this cup here coming in for you is the only one with angels wings. Okay. So it's going to be again, a wake up call. Okay. Everything happens for a reason. Remember that. Now I do see here the eight of pentacles standing in your blockages. So it's kind of like this energy where you're not sure you want to continue investing into the situation. You don't know if you want to keep putting in the work, putting in the effort. Someone here is not sure whether they want to continue investing in this or not. Okay. Now this has to do with some of you, for some of you guys with a love connection, others of you guys, family related, career related, business related, love related, whatever the case may be. But here with the lovers, okay, this lovers is standing in your thoughts. So basically you do have this in your thoughts. Okay. You do want a very stable connection. You want, you know, this kind of like beautiful energy here coming in. Maybe you want to harm harmonize some kind of relationship, but I do sense that this lovers here is kind of like telling you, well, you are able to harmonize it, but somebody here is missing the point. They're kind of like missing, they're missing the call. Okay. Right now, somebody here is failing to recognize this magical opportunity, you know, based on again, maybe some distraction or their daily lives, or maybe they have a lot to do with work situations or something like that. But here with the world, some kind of closing out of a chapter that has not yet fully closed. So basically the root of the issue remains that someone here is sort of like still lingering in resistance. They're resistant to a natural ending that is already happened or it's about to happen. Okay. This is basically the world card here. This is basically telling you, you know, this situation is already kind of like done with it's, it's already closing out and you're ready for a brand new chapter to start, but somebody here is resisting. They're kind of like, no, I don't want this to close. I don't want this to go away. That sort of thing. Okay. Whether this is you or the other person. Now I do see here in your past energy, you have here the judgment. So in your past energy, you did attract some kind of energy that maybe you reunited with. Maybe you guys tried to work things out. Maybe this kind of energy felt, you kind of felt the call to kind of, you know, take action or communicate with this individual, but something went awry. Okay. So I do feel like here coming your way, someone's going to start kind of moving into a different direction. And the six of swords energy is telling you, maybe some of you guys might want to travel. Maybe some of you guys might want to take a short trip or some of you guys might want to, you know, vacation somewhere or travel towards something or someone, whatever the case may be. But I do see here the hangman is in your subconscious. So right now you're not really sure whether to take action or not. You're not sure whether to say something or not. You're kind of like just standing in the energy of the hangman where right now you just want to take a step back, whether this is you or them. Remember energies can be in the reverse, but somebody here is kind of thinking about, okay, what is going to be my next step? They're not taking any action right now, whether you or them, but right now this hangman is kind of like waiting for enlightenment to kick in. Okay. They're kind of like waiting for that energy of, of kind of like that little nudge that is given by the universe. Okay. To take action. I do sense that this hangman also represents some kind of sacrifice that someone here is starting to realize that they're going to have to make in order to get their wishes granted or their wishes fulfilled. Now here you have the artist, you guys. So this is a beautiful energy. Somebody here sees you as prepared. They see you as ready. They see you as having everything that you possibly can ever need in order to make your wishes kind of like come true, come into fruition. Okay. Whether it's with a partnership, whether it's with a person, whatever the case may be, somebody here sees you as very kind of like, you know, talented, skillful, that sort of thing. Okay. But I feel like somebody here might be, it's like you might doubt yourself from time to time, but I do see here the seven of cups. Okay. So the seven of cups is being here in the energy of your action advice. You're going to have to choose wisely. So make sure to choose wisely because you're going to have a lot of options. Okay. I feel like, again, this might be some of you guys might have scattered energy energies or someone here in this situation might have scattered energies, not sure what to do, not sure which way to go. But I feel like you're starting to understand that as long as your sense of security comes from an outside source, whether it's a person, a job, a place, a thing, then you are ultimately insecure. And I feel like that's what you're trying to get away from. Okay. You're no longer making anyone other than yourself basically accountable for your own happiness. Okay. Now I do see here the King of Swords is in your outcome energy. So, you know, the King of Swords is basically, you may be approaching this 
this situation or this person in a very kind of like, you know, logical kind of way, very practical. You might be emotionally detached from the situation because right now you want to really think things through, whether this is for you or for the other person. Okay. But if you do want to learn more about who this other person is coming in your way, because I do sense that again, there's a message coming in your way and there's this kind of four of cups. It's something that you're wanting to manifest, something that you're already manifesting, but it's, it's sort of like when it shows up, you either feel like you're not prepared for it when indeed you are, even this person knows that you are prepared for it, or it's like you talk yourself out of it. You talk yourself out of wanting this, this kind of manifestation that you basically are manifesting right here, right now. Okay. But again, if you do want to learn more about who this other person is, go ahead and check out the extended link, which is down in the description box below. It's the first link down there. That's where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions and moves and more. But before we go into that, let's go ahead and get a yes or no answer to your burning question. So as I shuffle, you will be getting a yes or no answer to that burning question. Okay. But before we go into that, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified each and every single week that I post. You guys, I post each and every single week for every single zodiac sign. So make sure to like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me and it helps the algorithm so that I can continue posting more readings like these for you guys on this platform. And remember that if you ever, ever have one of those burning questions that you just need a quick yes or no answer to, you can always turn to this channel because you will always, always, after every single reading, get a yes or no answer to a burning question. All right, back to your question. Is this a yes or no drum roll? That is a definite no. Okay, what is going on here? So here are the three of swords. Somebody here maybe has been heartbroken, has been betrayed. Maybe this is why somebody here is ignoring this, this brand new energy. It could be basically love knocking on your door, but somebody here is ignoring it because right now somebody here still has to do some healing, okay? Do some kind of inner work. Maybe someone here is still closed off emotionally. They're not really ready in order to kind of like embrace this brand new love opportunity the case may be there's still a lot of healing that needs to be done okay but again remember that this is all a matter of time so look for the hidden blessing because there's always a hidden blessing underneath that pain okay now let's go ahead and roll the dice to see what the dice has here for you what does the dice have here for this week you have here the number three as well as a sign of cancer so let's start off with the sign of cancer so the sign of cancer it's all about self nurture yourself this week mother energy mothering energy maybe some of you guys have to connect to your mother maybe some kind of you know mothering issues that you guys have to resolve within yourself or maybe mother issues maybe some kind of you know childhood issues that kind of thing does not have to be but this is also kind of ruling your home environment okay maybe your roots going back to your roots kind of asking those deeper questions in order to kind of receive that healing now here you have the number three so the number three for some of you guys, it's a lot of co-creative energy, creating with other people, socializing, networking, bringing in some more people, you know, that kind of energy where you want to create with others, or maybe you want to involve others in some kind of group thing. Okay. Now let's go ahead and now get one affirmation and mantra message here for you. I am at peace with my past. Beautiful. So see these beautiful birds. Okay. They're like flying out of, out of the abyss. Okay. I am at peace with my past. So it's part of, maybe it's part of the process for you to be at peace with your past in order to bring in your present moment. And of course your future energies, which is always your present moment, right? So that's a beautiful message there. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Also check out GinaMoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and much, much more for both men and women. So check those out at GinaMoon.com and follow me on Instagram at GinaMoonOfficial as I will be posting more on there. And remember that the link to the extended is down in the description box below. And remember to check out my new video on my new channel, Maya Sky, just posted this week on why your manifestations are stuck, why you're taking longer to manifest, and how you can clear your energy to actually start manifesting. You can find the direct link to this new video for my new channel, Maya Sky, down in the description box below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you are notified and alerted of all your new upcoming readings.
and you can now find my new manifestation affirmation video on my website by visiting ginamoon.com and clicking on the affirmations tab. Here you can manifest a home, you can manifest love, money, abundance, happiness, how to heal emotionally, how to cut toxic ties, how to awaken more energized and become more attractive to other people. And you can do this all while you sleep. So make sure to check out my website at ginamoon.com and click on the affirmations tab. And you can also check out the link down in the description box below. I do hope that you enjoyed your reading. If you are interested in watching the extended reading, go ahead and click on the description box below. The link to the extended is down there. That's where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended readings. I'm so happy that you guys are loving the extended readings so, so much. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to hit that like button now and subscribe so that you are notified on a weekly basis. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified each and every single week that I post. I post for every single zodiac sign each and every single week. It really helps me and it helps the algorithm so that I can continue posting more readings like these for you guys on this platform. And also, don't forget to visit ginamoon.com and click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, bracelets, crystals, and much, much more. And if you are interested in ordering this gorgeous, beautiful sun and moon ring here, it's the official Gina Moon ring. Then go ahead and check out my website by visiting ginamoon.com and click on shop. It is finally up on the website. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the extended. Bye-bye. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.